Chung Chung checking in. Uh, happy hump day. And for those of you that think that's something different, it's Wednesday. BLCD day number 17. Round 4. Beard challenge. No skill challenge. No diet soda challenge. No nothing challenge. Delman posted a, a comment on my blog yesterday. He says, dude, you need a June no freaking challenge challenge. And amen, brother. God, I'm like, pretty soon I'll be end up wearing a dress to work or something or shaving my legs. I don't know. but Or wearing a muumuu and Hello Kitty slippers at night. Oh, what's up, Slim? Anyways, uh, doing pretty good today. I had one of those uh, blah days at work and been really hungry today. Um, I wouldn't say uncontrollable, but definitely could tell a diff difference. So I think that's uh, a little bit from my uh, kind of overdoing myself yesterday. And... Um, you know, I'm just going to scale back tomorrow. Um, uh, maybe I'll just create my own version of, of the run walk that I've uh, been doing and then kick it back up in P3. So um, in, in the past, I've been running off and on for nine minutes, and I, I think I can kick it up to 12 and be comfortable. But, yeah, I, I, I told you guys all this yesterday. It's I don't want to overdo myself. Uh, P2 is, you know, five, 600 calories for me, and... You know, it's a lot to put through a, a big dude like me and then uh, try and kill myself with exercise. So I do feel a lot better when I exercise, so I'm not going to give it up, that's for sure. Uh, I'm just going to scale it back to, to a more comfortable level because, level. you know, I'm not on the biggest loser. I don't want to get the crap beat out of me for, for an hour. And I just, I just want to feel good and not feel too stressed out about not wanting to do it. I'd rather want to do it than just... Uh, hated or wake up not wanting to go so and I felt a lot more comfortable in the first uh, couple weeks so other than that Kyle I don't have a whole ton of updates um, I don't know I I kind of wish I can weigh <laughs> people are worker like did are you dropping more weight and I says yeah I think so I'm dropping inches and they're like what inches what are you talking about now people don't understand but um I, I'm pretty sure that, you know, it's, what, 17 days in, so, you know, a pound a day, I'd probably be, you know, 15 pounds or so. I think I'm probably doing pretty well. I, I feel better. My clothes fit better. Um, you know, I've lost inches this week on Monday, so hopefully I just keep losing the inches and go from there. Um, I do feel a little bit bloated. Uh, I added the Johnsell's fajita steak fajita stuff this week and with with work and stress and just trying to keep up with life i've had to eat that a couple nights this week because i've been lazy and didn't make my fish and other things so uh i can tell that's probably not great on the sodium so i gotta cut back on that and i've been eating chocolate delight almost every night for the past week and a half and i don't know if that's necessarily a bad thing it's just i I've never really done that in any of my rounds where I get to the point to where I eat it every night. So I'm almost, I don't, I guess I don't want to use it as a crutch as, but I'm kind of looking forward to it now. So I guess if it doesn't hurt me on the inches on Monday, I'll just keep going with it. Uh, it's, it's a nice treat to have, um, you know, after dinner or something like that. So I'll just watch it and see how things go. That's, that's what this whole round's about. It's, you know, I, I definitely can feel my body's changed the past couple days, and so I'm going to scale back on the exercise. So uh, that's this is this is why I'm learning my journey. My you know, this is fully mop. This is just how I'm going to roll. So I'll tell you though, it it's pretty hard not to weigh, um, and probably the biggest, honestly, <laughs> the hardest time I'm having is wanting. My poor Mountain Dew. Oh, man. This saved my life so many times, but you're such a jerk. Anyways, I won't I won't be taking the Mountain Dew, even though I want to. Um, hey, Angie, you showed a freaking rock star sugar-free or something like that. I don't know if that's uh, something I could maybe try, if that's considered a diet soda. But today I was definitely feeling like I could use something uh, I don't do the coffee or tea you know um, so I don't really get a lot of caffeine 
uh, other than maybe chocolate B. But so really appreciate the comments, you guys. I'll, I'll get back to your comments that you vlogged on uh, yesterday. I haven't. Uh, I got caught up two days ago, but God, I'm a little behind. I'm behind on vlogs. I'm behind on everything. But that's okay. I'm doing my best. I really am. I'm, I'm trying to stay committed, uh, communicate, and keep you guys informed. I'm trying to uh, keep up to date on you guys as much as I can. So bear with me if I haven't watched your vlogs in a couple days, but know that I'm thinking about you guys and uh, I couldn't do it without you. Every time I, I read a vlog uh, comment, I just get perked up and, and get ready to roll. And I'll tell you, several times I've I've wanted to throw in the towel. Um, this week's been really tough. And what's interesting is usually my worst weeks are the first two, where this is my third week and I, I'm struggling a bit. But I'm just, uh, this is what it's about. The struggles aren't there. Usually I'd, I'd given up by now, you know. And just with the community and, and my focus this round, there's no giving up. I just can't give up this time. And... I really think that that I would do myself a huge disservice if I stopped now and then just gained another 30, 40 pounds back and got up in the 280s, 290s, you know. So, um, but, you know, we'll see. Uh, I'll see if I can really hit my goals this round that I have so far. I only have, you know, two and a half, three weeks left until uh, I can take a break. And, and I'm excited, you know. Three weeks of my life um, is nothing. That's that's small potatoes. If I give up now, I'm just crazy. So, oh, I had one question. So my buddy ordered some HCG for me, and I said, yeah, dude, I'm using Corian. And I order from All Day Chemist. I'll pay you back. Well, all of a sudden, it shows up like three days. And I'm like, dude, where'd you get this? And he ordered it from some USA site. And I look at it. And it's all in Chinese or something. And it doesn't even say Corey on it. I have no idea what type it is. And he's, he says he thought it was Corey on, but his wife ordered it for him. Give me your take on this. Uh, I don't know if anyone can read a bottle. Uh, but, yeah, I just looked at it tonight. It doesn't say Corey It doesn't say Hugo. It doesn't say anything like that. It's just uh, I, I worry a little bit that I'm not sure. So I guess I'll just mix it up here in the next week or so and throw a pregnancy test at it. But maybe I'll show you guys the bottle next time. But yeah, give me your take on that if you have any insight on that. Uh, love you guys. Uh, we'll catch you tomorrow.